Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the next video in my full face series. So I'm going to be doing a full face of Wet n Wild as you can probably tell by the title. Um, I am a big, big, big fan of Wet n Wild. There are some products that I haven't tried before um, that I'm trying today for the first time, but a lot of them I have used before so I can give you like a proper kind of opinion on it because I've used quite a lot of it before. This whole tub that I have here in front of me is actually from Wet n Wild. And also this video is not sponsored. They did not gift me any of this. Um, I just have it because I like the brand. So yeah, I did have to get a few bits. I was like, there's so much here. Um, so I'm not gonna get to use everything obviously at the one time because like there's multiple bronzers and stuff. But what I will do is, for the stuff I haven't, I'm not using in this video, I will give you my opinion on it because I've used most of it before. So Wet n Wilds are one of my favorite drugstore or like budget beauty brands. I think the quality of their makeup is so, so good and the price of them is just phenomenal. Um, now in saying that, like for the few little bits that I wanted to get for this video, because I didn't have a foundation and stuff like that, there was a few bits that I bought specifically for this video. And um, it's kind of like, you know that meme when you go into pennies and you pick up a few like small little things because they're so cheap and then you get to the cash register and you're just like, yeah, that was the same with me when I went to pay for my wet mile stuff because everything is so affordable. I don't think anything is over 10 euro, which is incredible. But of course, all of those five euros and three euros, they all add up. So yeah, anyway, so I'm just gonna put on my little ears just to keep my hair out of my face. So I'm gonna start off with primer. This is the wet and wild primer. So that is the primer. I'm gonna apply it with a brush. I know most people don't really apply primer with a brush, but I quite like to because I feel like you get like an even kind of base. So I'm just popping a little bit on the back of my hand. And as you can see, it's like a white kind of cream and it does settle into your skin very quickly. I'm not sure what to make of this primer to be honest because I feel like it doesn't really do anything. It does feel really nice and like soothing and cooling on your skin, but I don't necessarily think it makes my foundation last any longer and I don't feel like it really does anything for my skin. So next up, I'm gonna use this foundation. So next I'm gonna use the foundation. Now I did do a full first impressions video on this foundation. Um, I'll leave it linked in the somewhere up above. But I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender because that's how I found I got the best um, coverage the last time. So I have a little bit on the end of it here and I'm just gonna dab it all over my face. Maybe I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more so you can just see the coverage. <laughs> Maybe I applied too much there. Ooh. I just dropped some down my face. I have to say I am really liking the second second layer of the foundation with a sponge. In my last video with this foundation, you can see that I basically um did half my face with a brush and half of it with the beauty blender. Ooh. It does not look good on my pores. That's how it's looking on my nose. That's not good at all. Hopefully the, um, that looks absolutely awful. And that's what I'm saying about the primer doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if the concealer can fix that. One thing I also find about this foundation is the packaging isn't great. I would definitely not bring this traveling or in my handbag or anything because the lid of it, like it doesn't really snap into place properly and it's quite hard to actually manage. Um, I never feel secure with it, so I wouldn't bring it traveling or in my handbag or anything like that. Let's go and try the concealer. I've never used this before, so I'm interested to see what it's like. Okay, oh my god, it seems so drying and it's a little, like it's way too like orangey or peachy for me. Okay, let's just probably have to work fast with this. I'm just using the viewfinder um, as a mirror. I hope that's okay. Let's try and cover off that bit of nose yuckiness. I feel like this foundation or this concealer is almost empty even though I literally bought it at the weekend. And this is my first time using it. I'm not really sure what to think of that concealer. What do you think? Um, it definitely feels really drying. I'd say if you have dehydrated like under eyes or your skin is a little bit dry, I would say stay away. If you have oily skin, it might work for you because it is. it does feel quite drying. Um, we'll have to see how that settles into my pores. It did kind of cover up my nose a little bit here. Uh, not a lot, but sure look. 
we'll see. So next up I'm going to do brows and so we've got a pencil at one end and a spoolie at the other. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of brush out my brows and I really actually like spoolies. I never used to use them and I've only been using them for about a month um, but I really like it. It kind of helps just like put your brows where they're supposed to be and kind of brush them a little bit because at the end of the day it is hair. Now, my eyebrows are in dire need of going into the body shop, like they're so bad right now, but we'll just see how this goes. I've never used this before, so we'll just, ooh, I'm out of focus. I've never used this before, so let's just see how we go. I'm not actually used to using a brow pencil. I always use my brow zings from Benefit, and that is like a powder and a wax, so we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, so I love the spoolie end of it. The pencil side of it is very, very creamy. Um, I'm not used to using it. By the time I come over to this brow, I need to sharpen it. And I found it didn't really sharpen very well. That could just be my sharpener though. Um, and I found that this eyebrow just looks bleh. We'll see how we get on with it. I'm not too crazy with the brows. I think they look okay, but I still do prefer my wax and powder. Now I did see that Wet n Wild had a wax and powder like little eyebrow kit but that was like 5 euro and this was like 250 and I was like I'm broke. Okay so I'm going to keep you zoomed in because the next thing I'm going to do is my eyes and I picked up this little palette. So I picked up this palette it's called She Fancies Floral and I did have a mess around with this a little while ago and I wasn't too impressed so I'm just going to show you what it's like and then we can talk about it. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit more concealer just to use as like an eyeshadow base. Just a little bit. Like, I just feel like I just opened this concealer and I should be getting loads of product out of it and it's really not coming out very well. I'm gonna take these small little brushes out of it because I always feel like they're just annoying and I never understand why brands put those crappy little brushes in. So I'm gonna start off with this shade here. It's like, one thing I found very difficult when picking out all of these different eyeshadows and stuff was that in every single one of them I found like, all of the eyeshadows were like a shimmer or they had like sparkle in them like you can't go on and put that in your crease well I mean you can who am I to say what you can and can't do but I personally wouldn't what do we think in terms of pigment I'm not overly um impressed I think one of the main reasons I'm not impressed is because I've heard so many things about how these palettes are like so pigmented and how they're absolutely great I feel like that's probably as good as it's gonna get so what I think I'll do is I'll do one eye and then I'll just do this one myself in a minute to save a bit of time. So the next shade I'm going for is this one here, the eyelid shade. And I've just got a flat brush. Okay, it doesn't really do anything. Let's skip that and we'll go on to what is called the brow bone shade. So now I'm actually going to go in with the black shade, even though it's a little bit sparkly, I'm going to just try and work into the corner of my eye and into the crease a little bit, just to see what it's like. Decent bit of pigment from it. Now as you can see, there is fallout. Not a lot, to be honest, especially for like a drugstore eyeshadow. eyeshadow. Uh, I'm going to go do this eye and I'll come back. Oh, just stop myself. It looks like I've been crying, I 100% haven't. I've just applied a uh, coal liner. So I actually use this one here. So I use this here, it's Idolize Eyes. It's just a normal coal pencil. It's quite like a jumbo pencil, which I personally prefer. I hate the small little ones because I just find it's harder to do it. And because I'm quite sensitive eyes, I just want something that's big that gets it done as soon as possible. So I actually have this in, I have it in four different shades or four different colors. I have a green, I have a purple, I have a blue, and I have a black. Um, I'm not really sure on the price of these, I'll leave it on screen, but I really do like them. I think they're quite good for what they are. So now I'm just going to do mascara and then we're going to finish off the eyes. So this mascara is called Mega Protein. I did try out this mascara the other day and I was not impressed. So we'll see how we get on. Oh, I just smudged it on my eyelid. So that's what it looks like. Uh, like, it's grand for every day, but still not that impressed, to be honest. 
this is the eyeliner um i actually use it through the day as well and i really 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 like using it so it's mega liner and it's absolutely gorgeous i have to put my hand up i hate put my hand up but otherwise it just won't focus I just did like the tiniest, tiniest little flick because I'm kind of afraid of it. <laughs> just because usually I have like my little stickers or like my little bit of tape that I can just be like. I really like it. It dries in quite quickly. It doesn't go patchy. It's really easy to control. It's really wet, but it doesn't like smudge or anything. This is like probably one of the best uh, eyeliners aside from my Inglot gel liners I've ever used. I really, really like it. It's even though like it lasts all day, but it's very, very easy to remove at the end of the night. Overall, like I am happy with how the eyes turned out. Like I'm not a big fan of this palette. It's fine for what it is. I just wouldn't be in a hurry to pick up another one. Um, and I don't, I don't think I'd be in a hurry to create a look with this again very quickly. Um, I loved the eyeliner, the mascara. I'm not a big fan of. I just find it doesn't really do anything except for kind of tint your lashes. It doesn't really give them length or volume or anything like that so I'm not a big fan but they did have other mascaras there that did look better they were just a little bit more expensive yeah so look that's how the eyes have turned out I'm gonna move on back to the face now so I have quite a lot of oh I forgot to use my color corrector damn it this is the color corrector from Wet n Wild and I totally forgot to use it it's so good it's honestly like one of my favorites um so basically you've got two, you've got four different colors and it's the green one for neutralizing, the kind of pinky one for brightening, the white one for highlights and the kind of peachy shade for concealer. So it's really, really good. I have a full blog post on like loads of different, comparing loads of different color characters to each other and this one came out, it came out top in that selection. I really, really like it, specifically the green because I've got quite a lot of redness um, from like spots and stuff and I think it's really, really good to hide all of those things. So I do have some other eye products from Wet n Wild and I have these three here. So these two are like a cream glitter and this one is just like a normal eyeshadow. Um, I actually quite like this. It's just a little bit sparkly and I don't really tend to use single eyeshadows that much unless I put them into like a proper palette. I might actually depot this and put it into my English. But it's called Freedom Palette or whatever it's called. Um, these two are like glitters and look how pretty they are. They're actually gorgeous. However, I don't find they apply that well to your eyes. Um, as I said, they're quite creamy. And hmm, how can I explain this? So that's what they're like. So as you can see, like they're quite gappy. If that makes sense, as in like there's loads of spaces between the glitter. Um, it kind of feels like you're putting on. Do you ever have like glitter glue or something that you would use like when you're smaller? It kind of feels like that to be honest. I did like, I wore these a good few months ago and I did really like them. So I put it on the other day. Actually, if you go back to my video where I did the first impressions on this foundation, uh, I in the evening part of that video, I'm wearing the purple one and you can see how that wore on my eyes all day. It was a hot mess. It just felt uncomfortable. It looked awful. It just was a hot mess. So. I'm actually disappointed in these. I seem to not really be on. The products I've used so far haven't been very positive for me, but I do know that I love Wet n Wild. Like certain products are just unbelievable. This is amazing, like amazing. So this is their contouring palette. It's actually quite new. So they have like, they have like a contour shade and then also a brightening shade. I really, really like both. Um, I find this shade kind of like a banana-y shade, which is really good for brightening. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm just gonna pop it on under pretty much everywhere to be honest because I really like it except for where I'm gonna contour. Now with this foundation I found my skin. I don't really need to um I don't really need to set it, but I feel like with this area under your eyes, you always kind of need to set it. Well, for me. It could be different for other people. This is like my favorite brush for like contouring and bronzing. I said that to one of my friends, um, Kate actually, and she she was just really surprised because she uses it as like a foundation brush, but I really like it to contour and to like bronze. I think it's really good at like dispersing the product. Can you see how nice that color is? Okay, I have to put it on slightly wrong because I'm not using a proper mirror. So that's it there. It's coming up really pigmented on camera. It's not that pigmented in real life. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, so now I'm gonna go back into this like brightening shade and I'm just gonna get it on like a contour brush kind of, like this. And I'm gonna just place it along here just to brighten the area. Cause sometimes I feel like if there's a little bit of fallout, and um, this will just brighten that area back up again. So I'm gonna leave that there for a minute just to kind of bake. I 
Another thing that I have is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow. I am obsessed with this. I actually only wear this in my out. I'm gonna apply it today just to show you, but um, it will look a bit crazy because... So first of all, it's shattered, unfortunately. And like, honestly, this is my favorite like bronzer for quite a while. I'm not gonna tip it because it will all fall out, but you can kind of get the gist of it. Oh, you can kind of get the gist of it. Um, actually, I should probably crush that up properly and just make like a pigment out. I just love it now it does have shimmer in it so that's why I keep it to like the top part of my contour if that makes sense that looks crazy but trust me I'll blend it and it'll be fine but yeah this is only like four or five euro and it's incredible it looks like this one so this is the blush one I'm gonna use this as well today and um, the blush and highlight in this but they're basically the same one except this is like the bronze version um, and they're amazing they're so so good now you have to kind of be careful as well because these two sides are obviously like, why do they keep going out of focus today? So like the outer two sides are shimmers and the middle two, mm, they're kind of shimmer but they don't really show up as shimmers. So for the highlighter, I'm just gonna use this shade. I know I held it really awkwardly. I'm gonna use this shade to highlight and I have it on like a fan brush. I used to hate these fan brushes, um, but then I just like started using them just because, I can't even remember why I started using them, but I love them. Like, can we just take a second? I haven't blended my contour yet, so please don't leave me comments because I know. Unreal. So I'm just gonna sweep away that baked powder. And I'm just gonna kind of blend this a little bit. So for lips, I actually have quite a few products. So I have five of their lipsticks. So I have this Balm Stain. It is like a really good lip product. It's really moisturizing and especially if you've got dry skin or dry lips, uh, this would be brilliant. For me, this color is just a little bit like it washes me out and makes me look like I got, I've got foundation lips. But in general, like the formula, everything is really, really good in it. This is the last product I have from them. It's the Mega Last. And it's in a gorgeous color and it's really, really, really long lasting. Like I can't explain to you how good it is at, long, at staying at like being there all day um unfortunately i just don't like how it feels on my lips i feel like this has been a little bit of a negative video but like i just feel like certain products are hit and miss with all brands and when i do a full brand tutorial like some things i absolutely love and some things i just don't and i don't want it to come across like i'm bashing a brand or that like i don't like half the products but if i don't like them i'm just going to tell you that and be honest with you because no brand is perfect but i don't really like these lip liquid lipsticks from here so i am ooh, very very bright i'm gonna go ahead and apply some cherry bomb which is my favorite shade it's just gorgeous now they did have lip they did have um lip liners as well but i just didn't really bother because i actually quite like these lipsticks on their own i think they're good enough so this is my full face of wet and wild makeup. I hope you like the look. Um, I'm really surprised actually how well it turned out. Usually when I do these looks, they're a little bit mad, um, but I really, really liked it. So there is a few products that I didn't actually get to use. So one of them being this, oh, I just took off the lid. It's this um, eyebrow, is that eyebrow? Yeah, ultimate brow highlighter. I really like this. I think it's very, very good. It's just a little bit too pink toned for me. I'm very, very yellow toned. So anything that's kind of pink doesn't really suit me. Um, and another thing is this nail varnish, which ironically I'm wearing today and it's totally chipped. So I do apologize, but I've been wearing it for a full week and it's honestly like so good and I've loved it. And you will definitely see this in a favorites video. Actually, my favorite video probably went up before this. Anyway, so the standout from this brand for me have got to be the lipsticks. They're incredible for the price. The quality is just insane. They beat some of my high-end lipsticks like no problem and they're only like $2.99. Another standout is this product here. It's absolutely amazing. I have a full blog post on this and I'll link it down below. Another product that I didn't get to use was the cream contour and highlight. I have a full blog post on this so I'll link that lip I'll link that down below so you can see it. But um, I really, really like this as well. This is brilliant as well as the powder version. I also really love the Mega Glows. I think these are great. The bronze one is absolutely 100% my favorite. And I also really like the 
coverall cover corrector I think it's really really good so with the products that are kind of there and thereabouts for me I like the idolize eyes I don't really tend to gravitate towards them too often but they are perfectly fine for the price and everything they're grand the mega gold blusher I think it's it is a really good like little kind of compact but for me it's not my shading so it doesn't really work for me but the highlight shades and everything are gorgeous um, so they're a bit there and thereabouts for me. The foundation, I still can't make my mind up about it. I half like it and I half hate it. I'm just gonna have to wear it for a little while longer and make up my mind properly. Definitely not a fan of the packaging. Something else I adored was the eyeliner. Absolutely think it's brilliant. This is the Color Colorcon, Colorcon uh, bronzer. I didn't get to use this either. It's quite warm on my skin and I think that if you're as pale as me, you probably won't like it just because it's so, it's so warm. It's almost orangey. I'll do a quick little swatch so this is a swatch here so as you can see like it is very very warm and like it just wouldn't really look that well on somebody with my skin tone so yeah i think that that's all the makeup that i applied today i think i've gone through and showed you what i liked and what i didn't like i'm really happy with how it turned out and as the makeup was like settling into my skin i'm liking it even more um so as i said i'm a massive massive fan of wet n wild i think some of their products are just so amazing there are a few like misses like hits and misses i feel like there are a few products that aren't that great but no brand is perfect and i know that they're working on things all the time so yeah i'm gonna leave all of the products that i've used in the description box below if you want to get the specific names of them and i'll put the prices with them and all that kind of stuff if you're interested just click the description box or like to show more down below this video if you are new to my channel please please do subscribe i'm so close to 650 subscribers and i really really want to hit it so please do subscribe and yeah if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up i love doing these like one brand tutorial videos and test now like a full brand of makeup so i'm definitely going to try and do a few more so if there's any brand in particular that you want to see please do let me know in the comments and thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you got to the end of it i hope this wasn't too long and um, if you did get the end of it please do give it a thumbs up and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys